my head really aches today. I think I should have an aspirin. I have a few here, but I'm not having them. Today I'm going to have an homeopathic remedy. This is Monterey. Welcome to my cosmic kingdom. works in very very diluted concentration so diluted that there is no one atom of the active principle in their remedies that, that is why it completely relies on the placebo effect on the on the patient so the placebo effect is basically that you have are having something innocuous like let's say like a pill with uh, sugar uh, and because you believe it's medicine it will heal you it's it's known since the Greeks, so it's been there for 2,000 years, but it's basically all the foundations of homeopathy. Yeah. What they do is just try to put some weird stuff like uh, wasp venom and they dilute it so much, so much, so much, so much that in the end you don't have any wasp venom. Today I have here um, ibuprofen pills and I'm going to throw them in the bones trying to get as low concentrations as needed for homeopathy. So here is the pill. That's it. So I just throw the pill there. Now it needs to dissolve and it needs to, to become homogeneously distributed all over the pond. And then I need to do another step of dilution just to get closer to homeopathic concentrations. See you tomorrow, guys. returned with a glass of water. I'm going to pick up some water from here and move it to another pond to continue the dissolution process. Oh, a fish. So here I have the water. Hopefully the ibuprofen is totally dissolved here and let's move to another pond. So they claim because this water has been in touch with ibuprofen, this water has some memory, but they, have sh they haven't shown any physical evidence of any processes that will make water to have memories. In fact, water molecules are scattered around in, in, in the fluid, and it's very difficult um, for them to be organized in a way that they could just have some memories. So it's just this mumbo jumbo thing, and they are using some you know, cultural signs or culturally pop signs things about um, about quantum mechanics just to have some kind of shield against all the criticism they are creating. So whatever remains from the ibuprofen here, which is going to be just a small amount of atoms, if everything has gone okay, uh, now it has to be distributed along this big lake. I would have to wait for another day so that everything is evenly distributed but no way I'm going to drink the water from these ponds so don't expect me to do that for the sake of science uh, what I wanted to point out with this small experiment is that how ridiculous homeopathy is when you have a tiny pill dissolved in one pond and then after that in another pond and people believe that that heals them, but it's not more than a placebo effect in best case scenario. A few years ago, it came to my hands a tube of uh, dental paste that was homeopathic. And I just checked the ingredients because I thought it was going to have bee venom or something like that. No, it just had the same thing. They even have fluor and, um, and, and, and mind flavor. Homeopathy is, is, is just a ripoff. Oh. There is no scientific foundation. I wish it would because it would be very easy to, to solve all, all of the health problems in, 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 the, in the world. But saying that, placebo effect is very important. And if it works for you, 
go for it. Don't worry, because if it really works, go for it. But be careful, because it's only a placebo effect. You can be just licking the bark of those trees, or, I don't know, just walking in four legs or some crazy stuff, and if the placebo effect will work on you also. Actually, now that I'm thinking, if you lick the bark of a willow tree, um, it has aspirin, so maybe my head will return, will return to its normal state. Well, that's it for today. Uh, thank you very much for listening. Please join me on Facebook, YouTube, or, or Twitter. And see you next week, guys. Bye-bye. This is more difficult than I thought it was. This is for science.